to the awakening. My name is Caleb Leo. Now, last two episodes I've been on grain above the natural. Today, I'm going to talk about the very third and the last chapter of the book. It's just a straight chapter book, so it's something you can easily read, which is Novel Breed. Now, I started last week that Jesus came and brought about, he came to be a substitution for us. Now, today I'm going to explain to you what happens when we accept his substitution. He said he came unto his own, that is Jesus, but his own received him not. He said, but as many as received him, to them gave you the power to become the sons of God. So, Jesus says, those that are there to believe, if you can believe that he is the son of God, then he gives you the power to become the son of God. He gives you that power to become God's son as well. So he came as a substitution and then he said, if you believe in my substitution, what then happens? Then all things will pass away. The Bible says, if any man is in Christ, the moment you believe, you, you become a man in Christ. Now, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. So you believe, you are not in Christ, you are a new being, a new creation. Now he goes on to say, old things are passed away, all things have become new. Now, this is what he's saying. I come and I believe in Jesus. I declare Jesus is Lord. Now I'm saved. I'm not a new creature. And the Bible tells me that my old ways, the ways of Adam, my past sins, everything I've done in the past, all my mistakes, all my wrong thoughts, the Bible says they are all passed away. The old is gone. The new has come. I am now a new being, brand new, born again. That's where the term born again comes from. The Bible says you must be born again. So being born again means you are born of the water and of the world. So he takes you, he washes you, and you become a new breed. You still look the same way you look. Your mind still thinks like it used to think. Um, you still have the same things torn in your brain. Nothing changes about you, but deep down your spirit is renewed. Your spirit comes alive, and you become a brand new man. Now, that's what the Bible is trying to say, and that's what Jesus came to do. So, the moment you accept him, you're a brand new man. Now, when you're a brand new man, what does it mean? It then means that you are no more bound by the cause of the law, the cause of sickness, the cause of death, the cause of poverty. They're no more bound by, you're no more bound by them. You've been delivered from the cause of sickness. You've been delivered from the cause of poverty. You've been delivered from the cause of eternal death. He was chastised, he was flogged, beaten because of your sins. He was bruised for iniquities, so after he was chastised for your sicknesses, and then he became poor so that you would be rich. So Jesus, the perfect substitution, came and then he made you brand new. Now in the next episode, I'm going to explain to you what to do as a brand new person living in the supernatural. Now, do well to comment down below. I want to get comments from you. And then if you have questions, post them on that because um, we'll have this after. We'll have an episode where we'll take questions. I'll respond to all your questions. And as well, like, subscribe to this channel and share this very episode. God bless you.